when 14-piece and 22-piece cutlery sets bring precision cutting and durability to all of your kitchen prep needs. The 14-piece has cutlery for everyday use, while the 22-piece has specialty items like a 6-inch boning knife. Baldwin knives have precision stamped construction for durability through the length of the blade. Stainless steel blades provide a razor sharp cut. Superior serrated edges on the bread knife make cutting easy. Baldwin has ergonomically designed handles that feel comfortable in your hand. You should hand wash all items and dry immediately. Both sets come with a sturdy hardwood block that makes storage easy. The 22 piece set has a swivel base for easy access to all knives. Bring the legendary performance of Oser. designed. I love these knives. They're all stainless steel. I love them because the handle design, it's really easy to grip and I love that it has a brushed stainless finish. I think it's really, really a great look for any kitchen. The other thing that's nice about it too, it has a, it's got a really nice grip to it and they're not really heavy. They're a nice light knife and I like that in the kitchen. This is your chef's knife. This will be the one that you probably use the most. Um, I have a tendency to per prefer smaller knives. Um, this is actually a nice utility knife. It's serrated. So um, if you're going to be, let's say, cutting through something like an orange, you give it a little nice grip on it. Your next item here is a paring knife. Very, very useful. I like small knives like that. I find them to be easy to handle. This is a, called a bird's beak knife. It's great for doing specialty cuts. Next, here's your um, utility scissors. These are great for opening any kind of um, hard plastic packaging, or even sometimes you know when um, you get those bags from the grocery store, they're really hard to open. That's really great for that. This is your honing steel. This is our sharpening steel. Um, this is really important to use in conjunction with your knives so that you keep them properly maintained. This is, um, you basically hold your knife at a 20 to 22 degree angle and you pull it from the heel to the tip and you do that um, on both sides. And use firm pressure, firm even pressure is really important. The other thing that you need to do is, um, some people like to do this before they use the knives, but if you do that, make sure you clean them first because you will get residue from sharpening. Or the other thing that you can do is after you're done using them, sharpen them, um, clean them, and then return them to the knife block. That's the easiest way to um, make sure that you always have your knives properly maintained. Um, next, we have this, our Santuco, which is great for cutting cheese. It has a little dimpled surface. Some people call it undulating. This aids in making sure that um, anything that's really sticky does not stick to the knife when you're prepping food. And then um, next you have your slicing knife. This is really important for things like um, cutting and preparing raw meats or even slicing and serving cooked meats. Items like pork loin, chicken, steak, anything that you would cut um, and before you serve it to your guests or even for yourself and your family. And so lastly in the front here you have these beautifully designed stainless steel steak knives. I love these because they have a really nice shape to them. And the other thing is they're really nice and thin and interesting to look at. It's great to have those um, store right in the base of your knife block. I really prefer using a knife block because it keeps everything very compact, right at hand, especially when you're prepping at your kitchen countertop. The other thing that's really great is that these are beautifully designed, they're easy to maintain, and they work amazingly well, especially when you're going to do things like slice up an orange, I like to do this um, and make little wedges.